There's a group of people who walk around in video places and people. They're called First Amendment auditors, and their actions tend to make some people feel uncomfortable. Up North Live's Ali Baxter spoke with law enforcement about what to do if the situation happens to you. They're just exercising their right, and they want to see how people are going to react. It's not a new concept, but it's popping up recently in northern Michigan. They call themselves First Amendment auditors, people like this who walk around recording in public spaces as a check and balance on public servants. Citizens and our businesses may not be comfortable with what was going on. It is an important right to defend and protect. Uh, and from our perspective, we will do that from both sides. Chris Jones is the Lettington Police Chief. Tuesday, Jones says a couple of auditors visited the city and the department received multiple phone calls and complaints about them. Uh, there's a, a significantly diminished expectation of privacy anytime you're out in public. Uh, so that the behaviors and actions of these folks were within uh, what the First Amendment provides for them to be able to do. I don't want to, you know, alarm anyone or make anyone feel uncomfortable. It's it's the spread education. Sean Paul Rays is the creator of Long Island Audit, a YouTube channel where he documents his First Amendment audits. Ray's travels across the country to places he says he's received tips about, which is how he ended up here at the Governmental Center in Traverse City. Oh, how are hi. you? No, I don't need any help at the moment. Thank you, though. Appreciate okay, that. Because we don't allow photography. Why? So why is this the best approach to educate people? Ray's explains he has a bigger reach with these videos and says he gets millions of views. Government workers that are public servants that we pay with our tax dollars treat us worse than somebody working at the drive through at McDonald's or Walmart or any other private company. Um, we should be treated with respect, our rights should be respected, and the government officials should be educated on our rights. Ray's visit prompted a discussion for security needs at the governmental center, but law enforcement officials agree there's not much they can do when people are in public spaces. A lot of people say, yeah, but I want to be able to, I have the right to go to this store as well, and you do. Uh, but if you're in a public place, someone else has the right to record you going into that store. So what do you do if this happens to you? If you do encounter someone um, and they make you uncomfortable, just disengage. Try and walk away. In northern Michigan, Allie Baxter of North Live News. Chief Jones says officers can only take action if the auditors commit a violation of some sort. A violation would be if they are on private property and refuse to leave.